Persona 3 Reload is a game that should have released in 2022. Let's discuss. On February 2nd, 2024, Atlas released the remake of Persona 3, Persona 3 Reload, worldwide for the first time ever for a mainline entry. Like most Persona fans, I spent the next two weeks playing the game every waking moment available to me. The game was an instant classic and a must play for any JRPG fan, with its phenomenal storytelling and characters. Although I absolutely enjoyed my time with the game, something was off. It was a great experience, but not a mind-blowing experience. But what I mean by this is that it didn't capture the same magic that Persona 5 did when I first played it. Now I also want to preface that my opinion could be warped because I've played the original FES, so knowing the story might play a part in this, and my opinion may differ from those who haven't experienced any type of Persona 3 media. But the only way I can describe how I feel about playing Persona 3 Reload is that it's the most 9 out of 10 game I've ever played. It is Persona 3 with prettier graphics and better gameplay while preserving a fantastic story. However, there's something that prevented it from being a 10 in my eyes. Why I felt this way it was very hard to describe, so I figured I'd let it sit for a few months and see if my opinion had changed. But, if anything, it seems that my opinion has been strengthened due to the more information that's come out about the development of the game. If you've been following my channel or the Persona news space for a while, I'm certain that you would have heard of this individual known as simply as Midori on Twitter, or X if you want to call it that. She's been a predominant leaker and news source for all information related to Sega and its partners, which include Atlas. Sometimes, a little bit cryptic with how she shares information, but she will share interesting details on how the planning process and internal workings of Atlas go. One tweet in particular caught my eye, which seemed to explain why I felt the way I did about Persona 3 Reload. On March 7th, Midori tweeted that the marketing plan for Persona 3 Reload was completed around September of 2021, and the game development was finished in spring 2022. Supposedly, the marketing plans would change for Persona to allow other Sega titles to take its place, such as Sonic Origins Plus, Sonic Frontiers and Sonic Superstars, meaning that the release windows were pushed back in a sense. And another piece of evidence which actually lines up with these statements is during the Trash Taste podcast interview with Alex Lee, who plays the protagonists, Pharos and Ryoji. He mentions that during the podcast that he recorded his roles one to two years ago, meaning that we're at least looking at late 2022 for his earliest for these recordings. Well, but people don't see that. People yeah, see that's that. true. People yeah, see like all these like <laughs> games, for example, coming out back to back. And th for some reason think like you guys filmed all this in close to the vicinity. Yeah, that yeah, yeah like out. two days like, ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> no, and I, I understand it because like, you know, as a consumer, sometimes you just see something and you're like, oh, him again. Yeah. But yeah. it's it was like three, four years ago for Street Fighter, two to three years ago for Persona. Mm -hmm. And then all these animes like, different months, different times, mm, all these yeah. games. It, it just all comes out at once. And I do worry sometimes. I'm like, maybe people are getting sick of me. Understandably, Alex's roles have much less dialogue than other major characters, such as Yukari, Junpei, and Mitsuru, who were present throughout a vast majority of the game. But this would also indicate that the English script would have been completed by this time. When comparing this to other Persona media recording times, for example, Persona 5 Strikers, which isn't a mainline entry like Reload, rather a spin-off game, this would still give us some framework to work out when the recording sessions would occur in proximity to the game's release. In articles by The Gamer and Game Rant from December 2020, the English cast recorded the dub for Strikers from their own homes over the summer of 2020, due to the pandemic at the time, roughly around eight months before Persona 5 Strikers English release in February of 2021. Due to the unorthodox setup of recording at home, and the world events that were occurring which prevented the actors from going into the studio, it's very likely that the usual turnaround time was actually longer than it was supposed to be. I do understand that game development can be a complex process and voice recordings could occur in advance before the game's completion, but traditionally, Japanese developers consider the English dub to be an afterthought once the game is complete. One other reason that Persona 3 Reload could have been delayed is that Atlas wanted to reach as many audiences as possible with this release while having the game available in multiple languages, testing the waters for a worldwide release for its franchise. Persona 3 Reload supports 13 languages, English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, both simplified and traditional Chinese, as well as Turkish. This amount of translation is no easy feat in a game as text heavy as Persona. Based on previously mentioned evidence, 
I would argue that Persona 3 Reload was actually supposed to be the flagship product of the 25th anniversary of the series, but this was likely pushed back by Sega in favor of the re-releases of Persona 3 Portable, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 5 Royal on all the other consoles. Balancing these titles along with Sega's other games such as Sonic Origins and Frontiers, they may have wanted to shift the focus to Sonic as it paired well with Sonic's second movie that released in 2022. The remaster or re-release of Sonic X Shadow Generations looks to be tying into the Year of Shadow with the highly anticipated Sonic 3 movie featuring Shadow as the prominent character. Perhaps Sega will allow Persona to flourish during 2025, which insiders speculate that Persona 6 will release during the tail end of that year. This works out well for Atlas's other plans, with the releases of Shin Megami Tensei 5 and their other project Metaphor releasing in late 2024. With Atlas creating such a big backlog of titles ready to release, this may even indicate that the production of the DLC for Persona 3 Reload, Episode Igus, or even Persona 6, could very well be complete. The final touches such as translating and voice recordings could be happening right now. But this begs the question, will Persona 6 be as mind-blowing as Persona 5? Or will it feel like a 2024 game? To summarize, please don't let this video to deter you from playing Persona 3 Reload. Putting my feelings aside, the new VAs, gameplay, and music, well especially the music, are top notch. But if the DLC is ready for Persona 3 Reload, it probably should have released with the Ultimate Edition. Let me know of your thoughts down below on Persona 3 Reload. Do you think my points have merit? Or do you think I've just been chugging too much of the suspicious concoctions from the nurse's office? It was Dwayne here from Dewey HQ. I'll see you in the next video.